Cutting beautiful die shapes is easy with Nestability's dies and your cuddle bug. But another fantastic way to use the Nestability's dies is to use them to create an embossed edge around an image without cutting. Although you might think it would be complicated, as long as you know the proper sandwich, it's quick and easy and is the perfect highlight for clean and simple cards. Let me show you what you need to get started. You'll need a cuddle bug. You'll also need two B plates. You're going to need a rubber mat. Now, what I've done here is I've purchased the 12 by 12 embossing mat for, from Nestabilities, from Spellbinders, and then what I've done is I've cut it so that it's about the size of a card front and it doesn't go over the edge of my A plate when I hold it this way. What's nice about those big 12 by 12 uh, mats is that you can cut them to all different shapes so that you can use them with some of your Stampin' Up! brass plates and all kinds of other things. So it's a good investment and you're going to want to use one of these for this technique. You're also going to need a piece of chipboard and what I've done here is I've just cut the back off of one of my 12 by 12 paper packs. I've pulled that back piece of chipboard off and I've just cut it to fit. You're going to need a Nestabilities die and in this case I'm using one of the circles. And then, to begin, you're going to want to cut a card and score it so that it's ready to fold in half, and then stamp your image where you want it, stamp your greeting, and then color your image in so it's all ready, because the last step of this process is to actually make those embossed edges around your focal image. So let me show you the sandwich that you're going to need to do. You want to begin by putting your A plate in, and then what I do is I lay a piece of chipboard down. Then I pop in my B plate and I lay my mat next. Then I lay my card the way sideways like that so that the focal image is laying on top of that mat. And then I'm going to place my die blade side up because I don't want that blade to be down or it's going to cut that image out. So you want the blade side up like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and check it to make sure it looks pretty even side to side. That's why I scored it because once I score my card, I can see exactly where each end will be of the card. So that looks good to me. And then the last step is to put the B plate on top. Now I'm going to just run it through. And that's okay if it pops and snaps. That's what it's supposed to do. Now you'll see that your die will probably be stuck in your plate, but that's okay because that's what happens when it goes the other way too. And now you can see on my card I've embossed an edge right around that focal image. I can fold my card and it's ready to go. You can see how pretty this card is all by itself. Or in this example, where I've added a piece of ribbon. You can double up by using more than one Nestabilities die to create multiple embossed edges around a single image, or you can keep it easy by using just one, like I've done here on my card.